Hi, this is Willie and Corey Robertson, narrators of the audiobook Duck Commander Family. The audiobook Duck Commander Family is just really the story of our life. It goes back and tells stories from our childhood, and our childhoods were so different that it's funny to see the comparison and I love listening to Willie's stories about his childhood. They always crack me up. So I kept pushing him the whole time we were writing him. I'd say, oh, write about this one, write about this one. But um, we had a great time writing it, and I just I hope you enjoy reading it as well. We decided to record the audiobook ourselves because we just wanted the stories to really come to life, and we felt like they would just be more real and authentic if it came from our own voice. When Corey said we were reading the book, I ain't going to lie. I had my reservations. My mind flashed back to whenever I was in third grade and I would hold my hand up as high as I could hold it so I'd get caught on to read. Then when the teacher called on me to actually read, I would fumble my way through it. I was not a strong reader at all. This is one of the most challenging things I've done. I ain't a big reader anyway, so I guess it's good because I can put it on the list of books I've actually read. I actually enjoyed the recording process. I love to read and I love reading to my kids. Willie, on the other hand, it was a challenge for him. He can't exactly sit still for that long. So sitting still and reading a book was a major challenge. There are similarities. It's about portraying your life, but rather than on video, it's your words, your emphasis, it's your voice. It's similar, but whenever we're filming, you don't really know what the other person's going to say or what's going to happen. And so things are a little bit more chaotic. But when you're recording a book, we've already written it. So we're just kind of sitting here reading. It's actually kind of calm and peaceful. You're sitting in like a nice warm room on a stool and just reading whenever we're filming. There's nothing really calm or peaceful about that. I came up with this one one night sitting in my recliner. I wanted to pull the part out of the show about us eating together as a family. And when I thought about it, there's a lot of stuff in our family about food. And so it was a way for me just to keep it better organized, I guess, in my mind. He comes up with just strange ideas in the middle of the night. A lot of times he'll just get up in the middle of the night and start writing down. And that's always when his best ideas come. And I think that was one of those things. He... I'd already gone to bed, and he just started writing down these ideas, and I woke up the next morning, he said, it came to me last night, and he went through it, and I said, that's it, that's perfect, and you always think of how are you going to structure your book, how are you going to put your entire life into a story, and this was great, it kind of gave us a way to go and a place to put each of the stories of our life. It was actually really fun listening to the whole thing and just bringing back all those memories. It was fun hearing the childhood memories of Willie. And it was fun thinking back about um, when we first got married and some of those fun adventures we had. But I guess my favorite part would probably be writing about the kids because, of course, as a mom, all moms love to talk about their kids. And I had a great time just going back and telling how each of the kids were different as babies and Now, I feel like they're all so grown up, so it was fun to go back and remember those days. We are real people with real lives who came from nothing, worked hard, and had success. I hope they see our faith throughout the entire book, because without that, we would be nothing. And I think that that's really the central theme of the book and the central theme of our lives is our faith in God. I think it makes it real. I hate reading books but enjoy listening to books. And when it's the real author, it makes it pretty special. I hope listeners enjoy hearing us read and kind of hearing Willie and I go back and forth because Willie and I, we feel like we're a team and we've been married for 20 years now. And we feel like that um, we're a team and in writing the book, we did it together and we enjoyed reading it together. And I think it gives listeners a little bit more of a glimpse into who we are. Even though you see us every week on TV, Um, You only get to see really a small glimpse of our life. And so by listening to this book, you get to know us a little bit better. And I hope you enjoy that. 